Look at these bottles. These bottles have some lots of weird, strange words on them. Even, even if you're into Italian wine, these bottles, Sarah, I must say, look a little strange. A lot, yeah. A little strange. The, um, I'm here with, uh, with Sarah Male, uh, who is, um, what would you say your position at Nino Negri is? Actually, I'm the daughter of the winemaker. This is my, yeah, that's, my position. That's, that's a pretty good spot to be in. So, um, Sarah, Sarah <laughs> They say that I was born in a, you know, in a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> And your, your father's been at Nino Negri a long time. The, um, so um, we're here with Sarah Bale from Nino Negri. And Nino Negri, to me, is, is one of the greatest estates in Italy that maybe you have never heard of before. And I think there's a reason for that. It's, it's maybe a little bit the area, a little bit the type of wine. So um, I just want to ask Sarah, I want to ask you a couple basic questions. First, okay. where is Valtellina? Okay. So, Valtellina is in the really northern part of Italy, on the border with Switzerland. We are not in Piedmont, but we are in Lombardy, next to the Trentino Alto Adige, and it takes us 30 minutes to go to Switzerland. 30 minutes to Switzerland, and how far to Piedmont? To Piedmont, four hours by car. Four hours? Yeah. So you're a lot closer to, to cows and cowbells and chocolate than you are to <laughs> exactly. that other Nebbiolo place. <laughs> the, um, okay, so... Is it cold there? It gets pretty cold actually, yeah, but uh, not too much and it's really, really dry always. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't feel it too much. Right, right. And, and, but, but the deal is you're kind of in a, yeah, this Valtellina, I saw some pictures. Oh my God. This is like one of the most beautiful, arguably the most beautiful wine growing area in the world. Wow. Okay. Thank I mean, like, seriously, no, it's ridiculous. I mean, we'll, we'll be showing the shots as we talk. I mean, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. The, um, now, you're along a riverbank, right? The vineyards exactly. of Valtellina? Yeah, basically, the Valtellina is like a canyon. So there is the river that goes throughout the entire valley, and we are surrounded by mountains. Um, so all our viticulture, it's definitely a mountain viticulture, all our vineyards are terraces, so that means that every single vine has to grow like on dry stone walls. Mm. And uh, we are the biggest uh, terrace area in Italy. And um, what is uh, unique in Valtellina, it's not the altitude of the vineyard, but it's the steepness. Uh, that's why I think you were impressed. Uh, we mm. can reach the 70% in steepness, <laughs> so it's crazy. That's uh, ridiculous. <laughs> but sometimes they don't believe me when I tell that. Well, I saw the helicopter pictures. Oh, holy cow. Yeah. Harvesting by helicopter? What? Yeah, now it's uh, 11, 12 years that we are using the helicopter in the steepest uh, zones because, you know, it gets really dangerous for the people who work there. Because, of course, we can't use any type of machine. So the, the grower has to take the grapes on their back. So it gets really dangerous. So there's a reason you're by the river, right? Is it's, it's the, the moderating influence of the water? Is it kind of warmer next to the river, even though you're um, in a cool area? Or how does that work? No, it's basically uh, because we are near the lake mm -hmm. that it's warmer. Okay. Uh, so in the southwest, there is the Lake of Como, where George Clooney has the house. It's kind of cool there. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> And uh, we take the warm air from the lake, and that's why we have the, this particular microclimate, a continental microclimate, that uh, permits us to grow the grapes. And that grape is, well, you guys call it Chiavenasca. Exactly. That is the Nebbiolo grape. So it's Nebbiolo. Yeah, the same grapes that uh, in uh, Piedmont gives the Barolo and the Barbaresco. Mm -hmm. But actually, our wines are really different from the Piedmont uh, uh, from the wines from Piedmont because mainly, mainly, well, there are a lot of differences, but mainly is because the soil is different. So in Valtellina, it's really poor. Mm -hmm. And so the vines has to go really deep in the soil to take the nutrients. That means that it's really stressed. Yeah. And uh, in Piedmont, the soil, it's really full of clay, full of nutrients. And that's why for the vines, it's really easy to grow. And... Um, 
So the wines are more rich, bold, mm. and the tannins are definitely more aggressive than our in uh, the, the tower, um, tannins, uh, the tower in tannins Valtellina. in Valtellina. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now the, the Valtellina wines traditionally to me have been always sometimes like a bit lighter, you know, the, the, the traditional ones, the basic ones. So I think part of this, because I want to talk about what this says in this label, this word that yeah, actually everybody in America kind of goes, smooth, 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 it's the smooth, sforzat, or sforzato, right? Got it, yeah. What is that? So sforzata is the name of the technique that we use to produce the wine. Uh, it means to force, to stress the grapes, to take the best out of the grapes of the Valtellina. Um, it's, a, it's a wine that, yeah, it's because basically our wines are all really light, also the color, it's mm -hmm. almost transparent. And yeah. uh, this wine is our uh, tip, traditional and uh, historical wine. Um, probably we arrived to produce that just by chance, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, um, we let the grapes dry for about uh, three months, a hundred days. Uh, in a natural way and that, that's because we need more concentration mm -hmm. of the grapes and that's why also the color here it's really deeper compared to the others um, this is amazing oh wow okay you know no because okay because let's think about some other areas that dry the one the grapes you know the areas like amarone which which i love i mean exactly. i love amarone it's 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 fabulous wine but this is kind of like like you take Amarone and then you, but you make it all pretty, right? Oh wow! It's like like a like like a like little a, bit more like, sexy. Yeah, like you like a sexier, cuter Amarone. Like Amarone is like all dark and rich and blah, 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 blah. and this is more like hey, you know? <laughs> no, well. but 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 still with those dried fruit characters. I mean, yeah, um, like the Amarone to me mm -hmm. sometimes is like you drink a glass mm -hmm. and then you are done with that. Yeah. Of course, it depends because there are fantastic Camarone, yeah. but our wine is definitely, it's drier. And so that's why um, it's more elegant and fine. It's not so rich. And that's why our Sforzat is definitely a food wine with like a meat, a steaks. It's fantastic. Oh my gosh, it's just like blows the doors off. This stuff is like so good. Wow. Now, now and, and, and here's, what I, here's what I love about Valtellina, guys, and this, here's where you need to take note, is the fact that they have the ability to make these classic, you know, non-dried fruits, table wines, which are kind of like wonderful, fragrant expressions in Nebbiolo, not as heavy as the Barolo and Barbaresco wines, but the Barbaresco wines, but still with the fruits. I think it's a generosity of fruit, particularly nowadays. I think there's more fruit in Valtellina wines than even 10, 12, 15 years ago, huh? Yeah, Would yeah. Would that be safe to say? I, they seem it's true. nicer and friendlier. Yeah, probably it's due also to the changing in the climate that we are in these yeah. uh, last yeah. years. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely. And you know, these are wines that you can drink also now. For sure, they can last 35, 40 years. But these are wines that you can open the bottle right now. Uh, like with the Barolo, you can, I mean, sometimes it takes a lot of time to drink them. These wines are more, you know, friendly. I don't know. So these will be okay when we go to dinner now? Is that? I think so. Then you will tell me after the dinner. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna cut this short. We're gonna go to dinner, and I'm gonna we're gonna drink these. To be perfectly honest, Sarah, thank you for coming and giving us a little Valtellina 101. That was. Thanks to too you. Cool. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. All right, let's go eat and drink. See ya.